I used to be a Harley guy. I rode Harleys. I had a lot of custom chapters and stuff like that. Uh, and then about five years ago, I got a really bad motorcycle wreck. Um, I was in uh, you know, ICU for, for a long time. I was in a coma for about a week. Um, and then got out, got another motorcycle. Not too much longer after that, got hit again. So uh, I promised my wife I wouldn't ride anymore, but just because of my love of anything cool, uh, I kind of got into the rat rod team, buy a new one, trade it for something else. And uh, my wife thinks they're a lot safer. So uh, that's, that kept me uh, okay with her as long as she's happy. Greenwell and I own the 76 Hemi Bug. Uh, so I followed this the builder uh, Gus at Lucky Gunner Garage. I followed him on Instagram and stuff. He builds a bunch of really cool cars. Um, and then uh, once he finished this build, he, he had a, a video on Facebook that, that went pretty viral. And, and I've always owned some cool cars like this. Uh, not quite this cool, but you know, rat rods and hot rods and, and different cool rest of my cars. And, you know, I had a bunch of friends on Facebook tag me and share it, share it to my page and say, you know, you need to own this car. So I started kind of talking to Gus a little bit and, you know, eventually we, we kind of came together about, you know, a year later and, and I was lucky, lucky enough to, to own the car. So uh, since we got it, um, just kind of, you know, Gus didn't really drive the car a lot. So, you know, he built it and, and, and just loved it. He kept it at his shop. So. You know, we've kind of just tightened some things up, done a few little things, brake lines, bolts, stuff like that, and then uh, we painted it. Uh, it sat in black whenever I got it. I like to drive them more than wash them, and so I painted it this Nardo Gray, the Audi Nardo Gray. Uh, I just love the color, and then it also kind of helps hide some dirt, so I don't have to wash it as much. You know, my biggest things, obviously, is, is kind of getting it out there. It's such a cool car. Um, the only one in the world that, I can, that, I've, that I've found. I, I've seen some other, you know, V8 uh, bugs but with an actual 5.7 Hemi and just, just how cool and nice nice of a build it is. Uh, I, I tell my wife, you know, if we have plans to go out, we probably should drive something else because everywhere you go, everybody wants to stop and talk about the car. Um, just drive, even just a simple drive to the gas station, you know, it takes an hour. Uh, just because everyone wants to get out and take pictures and, and I actually leave it at my dealership just for people to enjoy. You know, I have a one-year-old who, he just absolutely loves cars, you know, and every time he sees my cars, you know, he, he just lights up, you know, wants to get in and play in it, so. Try to get out there, go to shows, you know, drive as many cars as you can. Um, just get out there and see stuff, you know? I mean, it's one thing, I, in fact, I just half an hour ago, we were at the gas station and a kid came up and said, I didn't know who he was. He, he said, uh, tell you what, that car looks 10 times better than it does all over Instagram, you know? And uh, the car is obviously going viral and, and everybody loves it, but being able to see the car in person, touch the car, sit in the car, uh, go for a ride, whatever it might be, it, it, it really is just a whole nother level of, of excitement to it. You know, a lot of people aren't, uh, you know, money-wise or whatever, able to actually buy and own the cars, but just get out, get out, enjoy it. Like, out here where we live, you know, it's, there's always a bunch of cool cars up and down the road. Um, get out there and see them, go to car shows, it's, there's nothing better. It's, it's cheap fun, you know, you get to get out and uh, it doesn't cost a lot of money just to go walk around car shows. You know, we used to have car show hop on, on Saturdays and Sundays and um, just get out there and, and see all there's so many cool cars out there and, and talk to the owners man because they all have their own story i've talked to many guys who used to race these cars you know back in the 80s and the 70s and, and they, they buy them and they, they race them and they're like man it just brings me back to those days and being able to talk to people like that who's who actually was around when these cars were new you know it's, it's, it's really cool Sometimes people just slowly build them the way they want them, or sometimes, like myself, I buy them, sell them, trade them, and kind of customize them a little bit to the way I like them. Um, I don't spend a ton of money, um, you know, when I'm doing it, but 
uh, you just got to start somewhere and, and there's really no, you know, uh, you know, if you're a Honda guy, you know, maybe you like Civics or, you know, if you're a Chevy guy, maybe you're a Chevelles or Camaros, you know, you know, I get a lot of, on a lot of my cars, people, you know, I always ask opinions because I, I like to see how some people react to certain things, but when it comes down to it, I'm going to do it the way I want to do it with my car. really no uh, uncool way to, to, to build a car, you know, do it however you want to do it. 